Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting integral. We have sine to the fourth power x and times cosine to the fifth power x dx. How can we solve this integral? I want to show you a really good substitution. If we write that sine x equal to t, then from here t, then from here x equal to arc sine, arc sine t. So this is our our substitution. So from here we can easily find dx, finding derivative of this arc sine. We all know that this is a table case. This derivative will be equal to 1 dividing by 1 minus t square dt. So this is our derivative of this of this x. And we all know that from here cosine x equal to square root of 1 minus t square. Because we know the formula if we have sine square x plus cosine square x, it will be equal to 1. And from here, cosine x, cosine x will be equal to square root of 1 minus sine square of x, but sine square of sine x equal to t, so 1 minus t square. And let's plug in all of these elements in our integral. What we will have? That this integral will be equal to. So this is our substitution and our integral we will have integral of t to the fourth power because we have sine to the fourth power we'll have t to the fourth power and times square root of 1 minus t square to the fifth power and of course our dx equal to 1 minus 1 dividing by 1 square root of 1 minus t square dt so we need to write multiplying by dt dividing by square root of 1 minus t square. So this is our substitution. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We can we can cancel we can cancel this one and this one. And if we cancel our nominator, take a look we have square root of 1 minus t square and right here we have 1 minus t square to the first power as well as well. And if we cancel this we will have the next integral. We will have integral this is the same t to the fourth power times 1 minus t, t square but to the power not fifth but second and dt. What are we going to do next? Take a look, we can easily raise this to the second power and multiply it by t to the fourth power. So as a result we will have interesting integral. We will have integral of t to the fourth power in parentheses minus 2t to the 6th power and plus t to the 8th power. So just raise this to the second power and multiply it by, by t to the 4th power. I do a little bit faster it, so times dt, and we can split it, finding integral from all of these elements. So as a result we will have integral of t to the 4th power dt minus 2 integral of t to the 6th power dt and plus integral of t to the 8th power dt. So this all of, all of this is simple cases, this is a table case, so let's find it. Right here we'll have t to the 5th power dividing by 5 minus 2 t to the 7th power dividing by 7 and plus t to the 9 power dividing by 9. This is all the table cases and plus c. And of course let's go to our substitution. We had that sine x equal to t and right here we need to put sine instead of this t. So and 9 we will have the final answer. 1 fifth sine to the fifth power x minus 2 dividing by 7 sine the 7 power x and plus 1 over 9 sine to the 9 power x and plus c and this will be our will be our answer so if you still have any question write a question in the comment write a suggestion in the comment thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos